we're nearing five gigabits of total aggregate throughput that we can pull between the, the SIM cards and the Starlinks. That means that we're able to, to aggregate those seven domes around 700 to 800 megabits plus the 5G. We were getting massive amounts of throughput. Hello, welcome to the third annual Peplink Tech Summit in Hilton, Orlando, Florida. And I want to show you the internet we used to power this event. So we deployed seven Starlinks on the roof of the hotel. So if you look at these cables, these cables go out and then they go all the way up there. And up there we have seven Starlinks. The so Starlinks, we're in a hurricane zone, there's recovery. So we weren't getting the 250 megs that we would normally get from Starlink, but we were getting around 50 to about 120 megs per dish. So we have three dual 5G domes, and these dual 5G domes provide six 5G modems back to our B5000. Each of the T-Mobile SIM cards was giving us 800 megabits per second of internet. So if you think about that, we're nearing five gigabits of total aggregate throughput that we can pull between the, the SIM cards and the Starlinks. We deployed the brand new Peplink Balance 5000 EC. This is a 70 gigabit per second powerhouse router. So to do this, we used VLAN as WAN. This is our ability to extend the network over a VLAN, allowing us to plug in more ports than are available on the router. So I only have eight ports on the router, but I had 13 internet connections. If you look at my laptop, you can see I've got all my Starlings connected and my synergized 5G modems. And you can see my three domes right there. And so I was able to use all of these internet connections working together to provide internet to all the members of the, the community here at the event. We used fiber optic cable plugged into the router to be able to distribute wireless throughout the entire environment. So we had 10 gigabit running to our break room and to each of the training rooms with dedicated wireless access points in each room. This meant as users moved around the network, they were seamlessly roaming and able to stay connected to our private wireless network, getting dedicated bandwidth and internet. So the ability for Starlink and 5G to power this entire event of 150 people, technicians using data, was absolutely amazing. We used a little over 100 gigabytes of data per day of this event, about half a terabyte of data to power the event. This provided increased reliability, great bandwidth for them. They didn't have to use their hotspots and cell phones for data for their laptops and everybody was going to work, build the labs.